Hi guys, thank you for coming to the channel and today we're going to talk about pool vacuum. This is a Kodio Tessa pool vacuum. And I bought this in the beginning of the summer because I do vacuum this thing out. You know, it's really hard to vacuum the bottom of this. You know, I've tried the things that hook up to the, you know, the filters, those pipe of humps and, and those just don't work. Now, I originally had an index that I had for many years, and the battery died on it, and it, it really was impossible. To, you could not change the battery in this. So I went out and bought this one. Uh, I originally bought this at Menards, beginning of the year. Trying to find one right now in late in August would be impossible because here in Minnesota, the, all the grills, all the pool stuff, pretty much gets clearanced out for the snowblower and shovels. So we're going to give a little test of it. Take the cover off. This, by the way, is a Coleman blow-up pool or hot tub I bought a couple years ago on Amazon. Actually got a little bit of a review on it. So it's not too dirty. I keep this covered at night because there's we have all sorts of animals down here. So it looks like we have some the corn in the bottom of the pool, but other than that, it's pretty clean. Um, the main thing I use this for is that when I first fill this up, I got well water. This, this don't really describe it. Mountain Dew color water. It's, it's silt, and, and that stuff settles at the bottom. I vacuum it up, and I do that for a week, and I get it clear. Now, when this gets low, I, I can't use well water, of course, because I have to do that process all over. Is I have to I use rain water or dehumidifier water. It's not that big, so I don't have to that much water and it gets all now the, now the trick I learned about these the cat the capture that silt which will do, do this even I don't have a lot of silt in there is that here's a basket for that that we're gonna you know a couple paper towels we're gonna stuff inside there and what that does that's gonna soak up the silt because the silt actually goes through that screen so we're gonna put that in there and I did throw the corn in there to, for a demonstration, obviously. It, pool, it was too clean. I really didn't have anything to open up. It wasn't that dirty. And this does have, comes with a cord you plug in to a USB. It does not include adapter. You'll have to buy that or, you know, you, we all have lots of adapters laying around. And it is on off. You turn it this way to go on, you'll see the little green light shut off. So it's going to go on when I put in the water. So we're going to go ahead and test it. It's going to, there it kicks in. Let's see if I can zoom in here a little bit so we can get a little better. And I have to keep this thing covered up at night. Um, I've got, if you look at some of my videos, I got, I got a lot of raccoons that come around. I, I feed them. And I almost had 18 show up, 18 raccoons at once, but usually I get about six, eight. So I keep this thing covered up at night so I don't get raccoons in it. So when I get silted and I have to do this every morning, about a week, with the paper towels, and that gets clear. But I'll have to, I'll, you have to wait till spring when I do another video, actually what, actually what this thing looks like. When, when the well water goes in it. It's the yellow water. And that's just the way this water is out there. I'm even though I'm down 240 feet, all the wells out here in rural Minnesota are pretty much like that. I know that some uh, towns will fill these things up, fire department. I know I know site works for the, the city maintenance in Min rural Minnesota and a different town up way, way, way up north. And they fill pools for people. Then that way, if you can get, you get them to do that. But anyway, so this is what I do. It's a nice little vacuum. Like this, not that expensive. Uh, one thing that happened during uh, COVID, if you remember, is chlorine. Chlorine skyrocketed. I mean, if you had pools, you would know how much it was. Well, before COVID, I, I bought a five-gallon bucket of it for like, I think it was like 
30 bucks is really, really cheap. So I have the tablets of this five gallon bottle. I actually still have, because this doesn't use a lot of chlorine, of course. So that's it then, that'll probably last me a very long time. So it took a long time. I was kind of looking at the price, it took a long time for those chlorine prices to come down and you couldn't even, it was really hard to find, find to begin with. Okay, so we got that. We're gonna, this will shut off and I pulled out. Okay. And of course there's our, I don't think I got much silk because there's really not much silt in there. There's our corn. Dumped on the ground. Those are come by eating up. So yeah, that, so that's a trick to these things. Getting a paper towel it absorbs a lot of that really fine, what I call it, the silt. Or if you don't have that, it'll, you know, it'll absorb that out because it, it, for a while, was just going through the screen, and there is no other way to clean it up. So, all right. Again, that is the Codio Tesla vacuum. I will put. I'll, I think it's on Amazon. I'll, I'll put the link on Amazon. You can take a look at it. Um, this is originally this Menard stocks this. So if you want to get your probably gonna have to wait till next year to actually get this. But uh, if you like what you're seeing, like and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.